Hey guys, it's JP554731 and I just wanted to do an unboxing of the AGX04 Gerbera Tetra. This is the Shimagaroha version and not the um, the same version as the the um, uh, the new 1100 scale uh, Gundam kit coming out of the GP04. It's a <clears throat> what's the line called? It's called RE uh dash 100 and um it's basically um the gerbera tetra gundam without any inner frame and i bought this off of a seller called a b b y dot i believe it's l c or maybe it's an i c i can't really make it out but the seller is based off of japan i mean uh china and i'll go ahead and uh put a link below on the comments where I bought it uh, this person's an eBay seller and it came actually pretty quickly um, it was um, uh, shipped through uh, I guess it was airmail maybe or maybe it was a uh, surface mail but it was relatively cheap and I think I bought everything for uh, I believe it was 80 something, $89. And um, let me go ahead and make sure. Okay, so the G Temple stand I bought for $19.91. And then the Le Oya uh, conversion sword for the Shenlong I bought for $14.90. And then the Gerbera Tetra I bought for $35.95. And the shipping was free which is pretty cool so I wonder how much the Leoya and the um, uh, RC Gerber Tetra are probably uh, twice as much as I paid for it to, for them to make some money um, I know how much the G Temple thing is it's actually around nine dollars and let's go ahead and look at some of the parts here they feel pretty brittle. Um, they're close to um, Akko Hobby quality. If you've had some of those kits, it's it's near uh, their GM Sniper uh, conversion. That kind of quality. And I can think of another kit that's of this quality. Um, the Echo 1 to 100 scale Barzam conversion for the um, Master Grade Mark II version 2.0. And I think the Kotobukiya's Metal Gear Ray has this quality as well. So, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm not really complaining. It's not too bad. It looks like a part actually fell out here actually really important that you go ahead and uh, check your um, your runners or parts before you start building the kit because you might uh, not have the right amount of uh, parts or runners uh, for that uh, that you're supposed to have and I actually ran into that a couple of times even with Bandai kits and um, HLJ and Hobby Search does a pretty good job of um, remedying that because uh, I told them about uh, missing runners and they actually replaced it which is pretty cool of them and I didn't have to I didn't even have to ship the kit back so yeah um, that pretty much does it for the unboxing and the cool thing is is that it even comes with water slide decals which is pretty cool so yeah thanks you guys for watching please rate subscribe and comment as i always appreciate that um jp554731 signing out see you guys later